Hello, and welcome to page 13 of the Preliminary B Piano Workbook from the K-Music and Design Workbook series. If you haven't already and would like to follow along in your own workbook, make sure to check out my website at www.kmusicanddesign.ca. If you've been following along with the Preliminary B Workbook videos, that last video was a doozy. We learned lots and lots, and this video is a nice, relaxing, cool down song. Here we go with what we're learning today. We have a new time signature, 2-4. The top two means how many beats are in the bar, and the bottom four represents the quarter note getting one count. This means the highest number we're going to be counting to is a two. But before we add in our counting, let's add in our note name, starting with our right hand treble clef. Pause the video now if you would like to write in your answers and then check them by pressing play. Starting with a C, G, A, higher D, I, C, high D, A, G, G, C, E, G. Here's our ledger lines that we were learning. Higher than a G on that next little ledger line is an A. These are A, B, D, D. It's our A line. Next is a B on the space. A line, B space, C line number two. G resting on top. There's our A ledger line again. A, B, C, D space. Space above our A line. And here's another D. And finishing off the song, there's our A line, B space, C line number two above in our ledger lines. Back to the top for the, some left hand note naming. C, A, C, E, C, A, C, E, C, A, C, E, is there a pattern? C, A, C, yes, I think so. E and C to finish off. Looks like we're only going to be needing three fingers for our left hand. Our lowest note, we had the C, the A, and there was an E on top. Our lowest note is an A. Let's put our pinky in the left hand on the A. Our C, with our middle finger, thinking about there is a B, and between finger number five and finger number three is finger number four. So if there was a B, we put finger number four on the B. C had three, E is our highest note, so let's put our thumb on our E. C three, A five, C three, one, C three, A five, C three, thumb one, C three, A five, E, E with our thumb number one, and C three to finish off the song. In the first right hand section, before our rest, where we can move our hands around, have our highest note, pinky on the five. Backwards in the alphabet, the C is the next closest note to the D. Let's put finger number four on the C, finger number five on the D. Our lowest note is the G, and beside our G is an A with finger number two. We have a G up top there. We're going to be using that fancy technique we learned in the last video where our thumb goes under and our fingers float over. So let's put our thumb on the G, finger number two on our C, and again, skipping a line note there, we're going to go to finger number three. Here's where our hand is going to lift up, still holding usually the longest finger in our hand, that finger number three, on the E. The thumb's going to tuck all the way underneath our fingers, landing on the G. Thumb number one, floating our fingers all the way over. Our second finger is going to be placed on the A and reaching nice and far with our pinky to the D. Our pinky's on our D with finger number five. C. 
We are right beside with finger number four. Finger three with our B, finger two with our A, and finger one, let's back drag just right here, to the G. Let's keep those same fingers going. Finger number five on the D, finger number three on the B, five on the D, and finishing off four on the C. Great, let's add in our counting. Always, we're gonna be starting off with count number one. And in this song, from our time signature, our highest count is count number two. Pause the video now if you'd like to add in your counting and then come back and check your answers. Count one, count two, and here are some more eighth notes worth half of a count each. Our first eighth note is going to be on count number one. Skip this one for half a second. Count number two is our next eighth note. And our ands are going to be included. Right in the middle. Between one and two. And meaning half a count. Count number one, count two, lots of half notes, all worth two counts. Two, one, two, two, one, two. So the hands together, so make sure you really slow down your practice, finding all of your notes first before making the sounds in both your right hand and your left hand. Now going back about almost to the top, here's our eighth notes. When we counted our eighth notes, we added in this and, or this little plus sign, and to the two. So what we do with one bar, by adding those ands, we do to all of them. So let's go right in the middle between all of our counts and add in those half count and. Some musicians, they don't add in the ands and that's okay. It's always great to practice. Start to finish with all the ands that are needed. Great. Before we start practicing the song, we have one more thing to check out. That's our expression have a little P called piano in Italian, or soft or quiet in English. This tells us that the whole song from this point is quiet, so a nice soft touch on those piano keys. And the only way the volume, or the louds and softs of the song, will change is if there is an F or an MF, mezzo forte, forte, added a little bit later on. But for this song, the whole song is piano soft. Pause the video now, take your time, find all of your correct notes, thinking about which notes are higher on the staff, higher to the right of the piano, lower on our musical staff, and lower to the left of the piano. For this song, I'm going to give us a 4-4 count count in, well, it's showing my left and right hands on the correct notes on the piano in the video below. Pick your own speed to start, then when you're ready, here comes speed 60. Nice and soft. For this practice play along, I'm only going to be counting our 1 and 2 and intro. Then, it's all up to you to practice before playing. Here we go, speed 60. Ready, and one, and two, and...
Excellent! Did you end the song at the same time as the metronome stopped? If you did, well done! If not, that's alright. Try it again a few times at a slower speed. Gradually increase your speed. Then, when you're ready, try it again at speed 60. But here comes speed 100. Ready, and one and two and one and two and Great! How did you do? If you feel you've mastered this page, you have now completed page 13 and are ready to move on to Picnic, a time-changing song, on page 14. Happy learning!